Welcome to another video about Smart Home Control Plus and in today's video I will show you everything you need to know about calendar inside the app and I will show you step by step how to synchronize it with your for example Gmail account on your computer and of course I will tell you what can you use it for. The calendar function inside the Smart Home Control Plus uh, can be very handy in many situations and I believe that uh, and most of you will use it side by side with the uh, Gmail calendar on Google and it comes handy for example when you have an appointment or meeting with someone and or another event you know anything you can write into the calendar on your computer you can synchronize it with Smartphone Control Plus and it will automatically switch your profiles according to situation and event you are currently at. You can just simply plan and write the events into your Google Calendar and then synchronize it with, with your mobile phone and you have it. Your profiles will be changed automatically. It's time to show you this process right now. So there are two ways how to, how to go into calendar option. First way is to click on scheduling in controls panel and go to tags. And this is it because for each of these profiles or even the ones you will create by yourself, your custom profiles, you can set tag. You know, for example, for normal, you will set normal. Click OK. And these tags are the most important thing while working with calendar because once we will look at your computer to your Google Calendar you will write into your description of the event this tag. So I think that the most convenient way is to uh, write the same name of the profile to your tag but you can of course write there for example normal can be one or something like that ABC it's just up to you and let's say that we will set another tag, for example, to work. Click OK. And we have two tags, OK? The second way is to go to your profiles and choose any of these profiles. For example, balance. And if you scroll down, you can set tag into it. So you can write there. And right now we will move to the internet, to your computer, and we will create a few events. And then I will show you how to synchronize it with your mobile phone. Okay, so we are at uh, google.com slash calendar. And of course you have to be logged in. But uh, let's say that we have a few things to write into your calendar. So for example today we can of course do it like that or by week, month or so on but let's do it like that. Let's create an event. So for example right there that this is going to be your meeting with Alex. Click create event and you can click on it and click edit event. Of course, you can write it where or something and another information about this event, but it's just for you. What we need to do is to write there our tag. So if you remember, we have set and tag normal. You know, we said that for normal profile, the tag is called also normal. But we have to add a few few symbols into the description so simply into your description or into into the name of the event write the symbol then normal and this symbol and this is crucial for the synchroniz synchronization so now we can say that it will begin at 2.30 3 and it will end at 2.40. Now we can click on save. And this is it. Now we can go back to our mobile phones. And if you go to settings, 
and smartphone control plus and scroll down to calendar profiles you can see there are few options the first one is crucial because it basically allows you to use your calendar on Google to be synchronized with your profiles the second one if you click on it you can see from which which source uh, the calendar will be you know you can have few calendars and use for example only one to be synchronized with, with the application the synchronization interval is basically allows you to synchronize it automatically for example every five minutes every hour every 30 minutes and so on and miss calendar is amazing because let's say that the event we have set in our calendar has already started but you don't have mobile phone turn it on and if you turn on your mobile phone for example in half the meeting or another event it will automatically switch the profile this event has so we will not miss anything because smart volume control plus can recognize that the event has already started and it will switch the correct profile so let's go back and now I will go to my mobile settings and, uh, and I will sync my Gmail account and I will sync only the calendar. I will just wait a few seconds. You can also, uh, in your calendar, you can have uh, planned the whole week. You can have the whole week or month uh, full of events and your mobile phone will switch the profiles automatically according to your events. I think this is very handy and for example if you work and your secretary or your assistant is creating the calendar for you, you can sync it, synchronize it with it and you don't have to do almost anything. So let's go back. But it can be a lot more easier. You don't have to do it like that manually because it will synchronize your calendar automatically uh, because if you know and you will remember in settings we have said we chose the calendar and we have said the uh, synchronization interval which is now 30 minutes and it's, it's enough but if you want to synchronize it manually you can do it even like that you can go to your menu find calendar which should be in your in your mobile system and here you simply go to settings and click on refresh. You can even add a widget for it, for synchronization. So go to your widgets and simply find, find the synchronization calendar. And now just add it to your screen whenever you want. And then just simply click on it and it will refresh and synchronize it with your calendar. The third way is to go to your CVC Plus, go to Scheduling and go to Tags, simply go to Settings and click Synchronize. But of course it's automatically so you don't have to do it like that manually, okay? And of course if you don't use Gmail, if you use for example MS Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird or something like that, you can always sync it with Google Calendar. Okay, you don't have to have Gmail account. Just simply synchronize it with your calendar in in your mobile phone and in CVC Plus. Just go to settings, find the calendar settings, and choose the calendar you want, aka the source you want. And I forgot to say that if you uh, put the add symbol at the end of the tag in your event description in your calendar, uh, it will switch automatically back to your def default uh, to your default profile after the event is going to end. You know. So as you can see, our first event has already ended, and the profile. I switched to default again from normal and now we will just wait to 2.45 when the second event will start and we will see the change of the profile right on our screen. So let's say you arrive to work 
right now you go to your office and normally you will for example turn off your Wi-Fi do something with the screen brightness or turn down the volume but now you synchronize it uh, your calendar with your smartphone control pass and as you can see the profile work is applied and for example the Bluetooth is turned on Wi-Fi and it also changed the volume so this is how the synchronization with your Google Calendar work and I believe that this function of Smart Telephone Control Plus to change your profiles automatically according to events in your calendar will be helpful for you.